Hello beautiful souls, the Philippines Unfiltered here and welcome to our channel. A paradise on earth. You live like a king in the Philippines. And many more long list of captivating descriptions that will surely trigger your interest to pack your backpack and fly in this so-called paradise. In this episode, we are committed to try our best to sit out one by one if you are really living like a king in the Philippines or you are in the state of delusional belief. While in the Philippines and you are living on a monthly income of 200,000 pesos per month, then you belong to the considered 1% population of rich people. However, wealth is subjective. Mario may be rich in my perspective because he's earning 60,000 pesos per month, but you don't see him as one. Our perspective of wealth differ from one another. Certainly, 200,000 pesos monthly income will give you the rich status trademark. But the most important is to keep in mind of the other factors to equate yourself to live like a king. To live like a king, a quality of financial health is very important. A significant figure plays a very crucial role for you to live like a king. How much do you have? To be honest, a lot of foreigners are living in the Philippines, relying mostly with their monthly pension ranging from 100 to 200,000 pesos monthly. It is absolutely a very decent amount of money. But how far can you go with this amount? Will it sustain your living like a king status? Or is this all that you have? Or do you have other resources like businesses and investments? Do you have a wide network that will surely make your wealth grow further? Here in the Philippines or maybe all over the world, the real wealth population has their own criteria of being rich. A wide array of businesses, investments, as well as connections that will help them generate more passive income is observed. They do not just rely only on a monthly fixed income. Their quality of life and lifestyle speak the so-called live like a king status. To live like a king is exceptional. It displays extreme luxury in everything. In Philippine provinces, they may be looking at you amusedly while you are walking in the street. But that doesn't mean that you are liked by everyone and everyone will gonna treat you like a special or VIP. Some are just curious of who you are, why are you here, and what are your reasons of coming here in the Philippines. On the other side of the coin, some really admire you and some just find you different because of your physical feature. In cities like Manila and other big cities, you are just an ordinary person living like the normal life like they do. With 100 to 200,000 pesos monthly budget, after covering all your basic necessities and occasional fine dining and outing, you will have a second thought of hiring a maid or a personal driver, especially in cities. Although you can find or negotiate a minimal wage of such in far provinces, it is still a wise budget plan because just like in big cities, you will shoulder their food, social security contributions, bill health contributions, and insurance. So the ending, you have to do everything by yourself. If you are not entitled, you will also enjoy the advantage of being a royalty. No VIP treatment for you in cinemas, in parks, supermarkets, and all other establishments. You will also line up to buy your tickets or pay in very long lines just like all the average Filipinos do. Occasional entertainment and dining out in a fine restaurant can be afforded. Travel may vary, like going to beautiful beaches and nature within your permanent location and its nearby town will surely still be on the budget. But traveling from Cebu to Iloilo or let's say Luzon to Visayas will surely cut a big chunk of this monthly budget. 
from my experience the reality of traveling from places to places in the Philippines, whether you are on a vacation mode or on a little getaway, it is truly very expensive. When we hear the term living like a king in the Philippines, we certainly have the connotation of extravagance. It sounds very exciting to one person, especially to those who haven't been here. With the increasing strength of the digital world, an enormous number of videos are extensively published, consequently leading to a false perception among foreigners struggling on a tight budget. The brutal truth is after paying your monthly rent, utilities, groceries, healthcare and medical maintenance if there is such you already have a hard time to stretch for savings and emergency fund with 200,000 monthly income you will be enjoying a very comfortable lifestyle something that is also achievable to many filipinos extreme wealth and luxury are the mark of a king Although having 200,000 pesos monthly income might seem like a lot, it's important to remember that living like a king is not a realistic or accurate description to an expat who is here in the Philippines with this amount. Misconceptions can arise from this over-the-top idea. Indeed, they're living good and comfortable with this budget. That's all for now and see you in our next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out. Catch you later. Bye!